This video will contain lots and lots of cuss words. If you're a kid or a teenager who doesn't like that content, please leave. As for everyone else, I need to blow off some steam and freaking just think because this is just some messed up bull crap. You see the title, so you know it's going to go down. Okay, so the lawsuit is over. Round one, apparently. This is round freaking one. Victor won. He won. So it gets very stupid where it's like, okay, let me see how this plays out. Okay, let me just expl let me just understand what's going on here. It seems it's cutthroat where it's like you want to have ownership of the first script of Friday the thirteenth. Okay, good for you. Go fuck yourself. That's good. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like Pamela's not gonna be ever seen again. She'll be referenced, but she'll never be seen again. Yes, you show Jason Voorhees, but he was just a mere kid with a disformity. I'm sorry, but that's not Jason Voorhees that we know. Heck, even if you want to claim the second one, his iconic form only showed up in the third movie and beyond. So even if you want to go all the way to there, I'm sorry, but um, you're a complete dumbass idiot, Victor. And Victor, why the fuck did you think it was a great idea to go for this shit when the freaking damn game is here? The fuck? The game is here. The game is freaking damn here. Why the hell you think this is a great idea? Now the game is a freaking damn trash fire, which is, it's kind of fun, but, well, if you're playing on PC, it's a freaking horror show. So, good job. Apparently, Victor, he hates PC gamers. <laughs> That's why I'm throwing words into his mouth, because he deserves to get words thrown into his damn ass mouth. So, apparently, the, this, this is what happens now. So, apparently, if they do want to make a brand new movie and don't go any further, you just have Murder, Inc. and New Line do a brand new movie. They can't mention any of the past freaking movies. They can't mention um, Pamela Voorhees. And they can't, can't actually talk about the origins of Jason Voorhees. So, all that is not touchable. You can't even bring cast members back after all these years. And you wonder why freaking damn Michael Myers is whooping your ass. Victor, listen. I don't know exactly is your damn idea of awesomeness, but you got the damn script. Get the fuck out of here, okay? You already caused a lot of freaking damn ass damage, okay? For me personally, I say you don't get any money. Because if you really truly care about this franchise, and you really truly care about all of it, you would allow the damn ass game to freaking damn be worked on. You would at least, if anything, you just allow the freaking devs of Illphonic and Gun Media to freaking continue on with the Friday the 13th game and finish it and clean up all the bugs and make it a good game that could actually be ported to PlayStation 5 and even Xbox Series X. But here you are as a dumbass piece of shit idiot. I'm sorry to say this, but it's true that you want the freaking first script that doesn't have anything to do with anything else. Yes, they had the kid. Yes, they mentioned Pamela Voorhees, but they didn't have her as a playable character. The kid wasn't a playable character either. So go fuck yourself, dude. I might have wanted him as a playable character. I kind of wanted him maybe to be a playable character. Like some new special power could be used. Like some kind of weird dark mode or something. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. But I will say this is that you wanted the first script. You got the first script. It took two years. You murdered a freaking damn game. You did. You murdered a freaking damn game. And you killed like at least three to five movies that were about to happen. You dumbass bastard. <laughs> you dumbass bastard. And it's like, dude, you don't deserve jack shit. You don't deserve to have money. You freaking showed that you don't care about the franchise. You kind of you kind of did show this. It's like, oh, so you have ownership, and oh, you're individual writing for it, and oh, you're executive producers of many other movies. It sounds like you actually were good with the franchise, and you liked it, but then all of a sudden, you got some freaking damn urge, an urge to actually start trying to get the first script back. And what are you going to do with the damn first script? That's the question. It's like, what are you going to do with it, huh? You're going to make a brand new freaking damn remake of the first movie? Why? Why, dumbass? Why? Tell me why. <laughs> because it's not really noted, is it? It's not really freaking damn noted. Not at all. 
But here you are with this damn bull crap. <laughs> It's like what it sounds like to me, even though I would wish they could go for it, which is let's do a what if scenario and bring back um, Tommy Jarvis. But Tommy Jarvis is Jason. But of course, they'll have flashbacks of a previous movie, which is like, oh, damn it. I guess we could have like a freaking um, Roy scenario again. We could have that happen again, which there you go. It works. You just mentioned that, oh, Jason's a freaking killer out there and he has and blah 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 and crap it's like and it's like yeah but we need to have all the extra stuff that was mentioned and everything and it's like it's very very crap that you you victor you you're the freaking cause of this shit you're the cause of this shit you couldn't at least wait until freaking damn a movie happens it's like yeah this is two years that you killed so many movies and you killed a game couldn't you wait until the game was over you dumbass it's like you won the script, but then you didn't get any money out of it either. You just won the rights to the damn script. You didn't get any money at all. So then why did you halt everything if you're just only after the damn freaking script? You dumbass. Unless you rewarded money too, which, yeah, um, apparently that's going to be round two where they're going to discuss about the money and how the money is going to be cutting bullshit. And it's like, dude. You killed a damn ass game. You killed three to five movies. You don't deserve jack shit. <clears throat> it's like, you don't deserve jack shit. Sorry, but you don't deserve anything. And at least I'm glad that the rights of Jason Voorhees and the whole entire keys to the franchise is not getting given to you. Because if it was just given to you, it's like, yeah, well, everyone's just like, go fuck yourself because you suck. The first get, the first freaking movie in itself, I don't think you, it's like, you just wrote the first script. That's it. You wrote, wrote the first script for the first movie. That's the only thing you did. That only just had Pamela. No Jason. So what was your scenario if you would have done a sequel? I think it would suck. Sorry to be a complete jerk, but I think it might actually suck. Because Pamela's gone, what exactly are you going to do next, idiot? What you going to do next? <laughs> what you going to do next? You wouldn't be able to do Jason. I think that wouldn't be in your idea of doing Jason. Maybe it could have been your idea, but then why didn't you make the freaking damn script then? Why didn't you do the storyboarding? Why didn't you do any of that? For right now, all it seems to me is just nothing but, hey, I made the first movie and then I can coast by being an executive producer. And there we go. And it's like, yeah, you kind of didn't do jack shit. You might have started this franchise, but the funniest part is like, <laughs> there's so many freaking damn franchises that started and then later gave us the origin later. And the origin suck ass. But you start with the origin, which is awesome, but technically, we don't really need the origin. You can just take the whole entire origin and shove it up your ass and we're good. The only is just going to be fair mentions. It's not going to even be flashbacks or anything. But it's like, oh, no, no, no. And yes, I need to have money for this because I'm the one who started. It's like, you're the one who started it. I'm sorry, dude, but the only thing you did was just had a freaking ground foundation. It was whoever actually thought that Jason Voorhees can actually be more than that was the one who started it. You just had this bland thing that most likely wouldn't have gotten to a part two. And you didn't write the script for part two, so that means that you didn't have any ideas of this shit anyways. Because if you did, then you would go for the first script and also the next movie, the second movie. But you didn't. You went for the first movie. That's the only one you written. So, dude, why the hell are you trying to do any more? Okay? The only thing you did was just, yeah, Pamela, yeah, 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 awesome, Pamela, yeah, Jason drowned, yeah, 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 and Jason, it was just a fever dream, it's like, yeah, it's just a fever dream, and they ran with the fever dream, for right now, it's just a fever dream, that's it, it, it the freaking movie just stopped at one movie, there was no way, shape, or form it could actually continue on. I don't think you could have done it, and apparently you wouldn't be able to do it anyways, sorry, but I'm just insulting you because, dude, 
You wrecked a damn ass game for just a piece of shit script. Sorry, the script is most likely good, but you freaking stopped everything else for your damn ass script. If you're really actually talking about the freaking damn money, how about you let the money continue on? Let the freaking movies continue on? Let the game continue on? And then when you actually want to target it, then you stop the presses. Even though, again, you are the freaking monster here. Not Monsters, Inc. Mo no, I'm Horror, Inc. Either way. They are not the bad guys. You're the bad guy here. You're the fucking bad guy. The only way how you wouldn't be the bad guy is if we're just like, oh, but he did create it though and rights and stuff. And, it didn't, didn't. and it's like, the only way how you actually would be the good guy here if you didn't deal with any other shit besides just the first movie, which means technically that means that all DVDs of the first movie would not be included, which means every single collection with the first movie would be erased <laughs> or the all so that basically we'll get new movies, but every single Friday or first tape first. Friday the 13th part one would be removed from stores would be removed from internet everywhere. So it's like you can't rent it, you can't buy it, you can't sell it. It's like I guess you can sell it online. That's the only way how you can do it. But it's like other than that, it's like yeah. So no new copies will be released. That's the only thing you can do that actually makes sense here. That's the only thing that makes sense. So they won't be making money off of your first movie, of your movie, in quotations, your movie. But as for the game. And all the three to five movies you canceled, they shouldn't have been touched at all, at all. And that's how you would be a hero. That's why you would be kind of a good guy in this. But it wasn't them who did it. It was you. You caused this freaking damn lawsuit. You caused all this two year action. You caused the freaking game to get everything canceled. And it, it's a buggy freaking damn mess and they can't touch on it. And it's like, you're a piece of shit, man. It's like, might as well just say also, I hate video games. You have to say, I hate video games. I hate PC gamers. And I hate the whole entire franchise, the fans of Friday the 13th. That's all you should basically be saying right now, because that is what you're showing. That's what you're showing. Because it's like, yeah, just cut the whole entire thing and just see what you've done. This is what you've done trying to get your damn ass script. This is what you did. And you want me to actually be like, oh, yay, bravo, bravo. And round two is coming to where how are you going to split the damn money? So that means even more freaking delays while Michael Myers is just over there being like, hmm, 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 it's like. You allow Friday the 13th freaking lap around you. You allow freaking Charles Lee Ray. Charles Lee Ray, that bastard ass, kind of freaking doing small circles around you. I mean, <laughs> the freaking movies aren't as good as it used to be because they're not on freaking damn movie screens. Oh, but still, he has a TV show coming. Again, what do you have now? What do you have now? Just a damn game that's buggy as shit. <laughs> that's it. And then you just have re-releases after re-releases after re-releases. You're basically fupping over the damn ass fans, bastard. It's like, you already did. The damage has been done. I think all the money that you can calculate on how much they lost comes out of your first damn check. Lots of your checks. So it's like, yeah, we won't talk until you actually allow them to freaking damn fix the damn game, which I doubt that will happen. Let them make a couple of movies and we good. It's like, yeah, it's like you need to give this a few years. I know you're like, oh, but I'm going to leave this money and they're going to make money. It's like, yeah, but dude, would you like the franchise to not be dead? Or would you like the franchise to at least get some fresh air right quick? Fresh air before you do more damage. Because that's what you're doing. More freaking ass damage, making the freaking damn people wait. At least you could allow the video game to freaking be finished and done. So everyone who loves Friday the 13th at least has the damn ass video game. Nope. Two years ago, right? And the last one was 2009, which they were planning on making a sequel to it. But guess who stopped it? Victor! And it's like dude <clears throat> so i'm sorry but 
even if you would think he's a good guy here, he's kind of a freaking bad guy here. He's being a selfish bastard, and he's not thinking about the damn fans. Who makes a franchise? Who's giving money to you? Who, how you're making money? The damn ass fans. And here you are basically doing this stupid shit, and sadly there's going to be a round two.